All right, in this video, we are going to talk about using the distinct keyword in SQL selects. And what we can do is select distinct. So I'm going to say select distinct first name from employees. And let's go ahead and run that. And now this is going to give me back a listing of all the distinct first names of the employees table. And this is a, a very handy function. You can use it on numbers and dates. It's effectively just going to do a distinct value out of that table. You can also combine it with things. So let's say we want to know how many distinct first names are in the, in the database. So we can do, I'm just going to do this. And now we can wrap it with the count function. Distinct first name from employees like so. And this will tell us how many distinct first names there are in the employees table. So there's 1,275 distinct first names in the employees table. And like I said, we can also use this against dates. So we can do select like so. So we can say select distinct birth date and get all the distinct birthdays out of the, out of the employees table. So we can see that we have quite a few of those. And again, that's something that we can also wrap with the count function to see how many unique birthdays we have in our employees table. So this is giving a, me a count of birthdays out of the employees table. And I just want ran the second example here so you can see that it's going to work on a date as well. If I want to do an employee number, I can do that as well. So it's a pretty versatile, handy little function inside of the SQL select statement. And coming up, we can actually use some grouping functions. I'm going to get into groupings in the next section of the course, but we'll be seeing more usage of the distinct keyword inside of SQL coming up in the course.